Hello all, uh, welcome to this lecture on microfluidic chip design. So today we'll be seeing the microfluidic chip design, uh, doing the micron scale, micron level chip uh, designing. We can do this as a mold making for 3D based microfluidic and we can do as a single step process for 3D printing. So today we'll be seeing this process. So first of all, let's open our new uh, page. And now instead of going to the part, now I'll take you to the assembly and in the assembly we'll do the uh, different, uh, we'll insert the core parts and then we'll edit it each one by one and then we'll do the processing. So once I click OK, OK, so it by default takes the insert component option from the assembly. So just close this and go to insert components, open new part. Okay. And once it is there, just click on the blank screen. And here you can just go to this edit part. So once you have created edit part, so you are in the screen now. So you are in the part. So you are in the assembly in one of the part, right? So here I'll just uh, change the color to plain white, the background. So it looks more better for viewing. So here select a plane, front plane. I'm choosing a front plane. And then take a rectangle. Just drag it, okay. And here in the smart dimensions, I'll give something around uh, 50 mm, and this is around 30 mm. Okay, so these are arbitrary units that I'm using, and you can use depending on uh, your application. So click OK, and if you notice something that uh, this is not fully defined, so the reason would be it is not defined through origin. Just click here and hold Control and select this and create a coincident here so once it is there so you can see it completely flat and it is uh, like constrained fully go to features extrude walls and then i'll give the height of or the thickness of the uh, device as uh, 1 mm or uh, yeah 1 mm could be fine so 1 mm is my device or let's say i'll increase it to 2 mm okay and then okay so on this, we'll create the uh, microfluidic pattern. Okay, just select this face and click the sketch edit. So here, the important point is you have to create a circle and in the circle, we'll do an interesting spiral channel. So in the internet, uh, there are uh, very few or there are there is no video on making a spiral channel uh, microfluidic chip. So that is the task that I have took here and uh, as a challenge, I'm doing this here. So here, uh, let's just create a circle initially to create a, uh, a spiral channel. So, uh, and then the dimension of the spiral or the circle will keep it at 5 mm, right? So once it is done, so uh, just go to insert and then curves. So in the curves, you can see the helix option. So select this helix and by default, it has selected the circle, inner circle and you can control the pitch. You can play with the pitch 1 mm or you can play it as a 5 mm pitch. So for our design, we keep it as a 2 mm. That is sufficient for us. And you can play with the revolutions. You can create 10 revolutions. You can create 5 revolutions, any number of revolutions. And this is a start angle. So this start angle, I'll explain the next uh, importance. And this is the clockwise and counterclockwise. So here you can just see clockwise and so clockwise and this is a counterclockwise. So for now, let's keep it clockwise for our say, uh, like example and click OK. OK, so you can see, so if you select this, so you can see a blue highlight. So this is the uh, spiral. OK, and just I'm clicking it back and select the same thing. Click sketch. So now we are creating a new sketch and I want to create a same hexagon or sorry, same circle. So at 5 mm and again I will insert this, insert the spiral, okay. And now if you notice uh, previously that uh, our, this is our outlet, okay. And now what we do, this outlet will turn to this side. So in that case, uh, so if you notice this, this outlet is facing this end in the previous also, but now we'll use the start angle concept and we'll shift this. 
so if i shift it to 180 if you we can notice that so it is shifted to this end so previously it was at this end and now it was shifted to this end so this start angle plays a crucial role here if you want to do a a two a two spiral channels in a single microfluidic device so click ok ok so now if you see we have created two spirals right two spirals are there but if you notice something that there is nothing formed on it on to this surface so here lies the important step here okay so if you see there is nothing on the any side just click control 8 here so you can see there's nothing again just facing uh, uh, towards you towards the screen so here you can do is again select the face click on the sketch edit but now in this case we are not going to sketch anything just press the convert entities here in the convert entities select the helix one the spiral one and spiral two press control and you can create spiral one and spiral two and just click ok so now if you see you can see a beautiful spiral channels here right so now what you can do so go to offset select this entity as well as this entity okay so if you see here in the parameters it is 10 mm but i limit it as 0.1 so 0.1 is around 100 microns and also if you see options here it is bi-directional and if i click on bi-directional so there are so our line so example if this is our sketch this blue is our sketch so it is bi-directional so on the both the directions it is offset okay if it is single side then only one side and you can just reverse the side this or that and the interesting part here you can make the the raw sketch or the original sketch this blue sketch to be a construction geometry it's a that it means the dotted lines or a not a dotted lines by just sticking it on and off okay in this case we make it a construction geometry and click ok okay so you can see this so this is a beautiful spiral channel and now the next part is you have to connect this as an outlet okay so i'm giving it at a length of 10 mm similarly i'll do it at this end and a length of 10 mm okay this is done and let's create an offset for this two and similarly i'll just create an offset okay for this and also and also we'll create the offset for this line okay so just click ok and everything is there so maybe instead of this let's press ctrl z z z yes i'm just doing ctrl z so here so let's do it here itself just create a first lines here just give it a 10 mm and if you see it is not horizontal just click on the line make it horizontal right and similarly create a line in this side and then make it 10 mm right so once it is there and next we'll do the offset geometry so this is offset and this is offset and remaining conditions are same so the channel the channel length will be around 200 microns in this case control ok and then now you have to do the closed boundary for the operations right so instead of this again you just press ctrl z right here you can do a fillet option here so you just create a fillet over here and since it is a lot so you just create two mm fillet and also at this position just to create a curvature the smooth flow okay 
and if you see it is under constraint so the reason let's see the reason why it is under constraint control z so the position is not fixed okay so let's fix it as it is and followed by the length just control z and then just give the length okay and similarly in this case so now if you see the design is fully defined here it is written over here it is fully defined now there is no issue for us and just create an offset this and also this so once it is there and also we need the inlet and outlet so to, to do that just create a circle so somewhere around i keep the dimensions for the microfluidics around 1.75 mm so this will be the typical uh, size of the inlet in microfluidics and similarly here and let's keep it as 1.75 again okay so everything is ready then now we are ready for offset done done click ok and then let's use the trim option here and in the trim we just don't need this area this area and we have to open the inlets okay and similar to this side so trim trim okay now if you see this is not a closed so there is no closed shading uh, we can see in this so because these positions are uh, still open so to do that just select a line and just close it so you can see the shade you can see the difference between this and this now this is a closed entity and this is an open entity so once i press this so again this becomes a closed entity okay so now we can do all the 3d feature operations on this because these are closed entities now okay so one more you can do just the fillet option you can give it here and here so let's keep it minimum of around 0.5 mm it is sufficient and also this side we can keep it as a 0.5 okay done so now our 2d sketch drawing is done i am going to features extrude cut creating an extrude cut and then going to a depth so since i want to make it as a microfluidic channel so i consider myself i limit myself as the depth of the channels as 500 microns and just press ok so you can see the nice pattern that is formed on the chip okay so now let's save this file okay so you can just save as okay and then you can just save in your uh, designated library okay for now i have saved it at my desktop that is fine so then now we cannot flow the in now we cannot flow the fluids in this because it leaks so we have to close this completely so to do that what i do i come out of this i exit this part sketch and then i create a new part right in the new part i again go to this i edit this new part right now i click on this sketch and then the option comes here to create a sketch on the existing sketch so select this and then create a rectangle corner rectangle uh, it's very easy and then we need the inlets yeah just select this this is one inlet for us and the second inlet uh, select the circle yeah and if you notice they are again underdefined so one is 0.75 give the dimensions to it so this is more 1.75 is fine right so once it is there so this is fine for us now go to features extrude the setup and we just need around 0.5 mm is sufficient for us that is just to uh, keep the fluid intact within the device so 0.5 will be sufficient as a thickness click ok okay so once it is there so we have channels inside and the top covering and just you just click on this create a sketch one more sketch and interestingly we can create a 
so let's create a one more okay so let's create a circle and similarly let's create one more circle here okay so i'll keep my dimensions same 1.75 and 1.75 right and then followed by you can create a center rectangle surrounding this so i'll consider this as I'll keep it as roughly 3 mm cross 3 mm and similarly let's do the same for this actually you can mirror this but i'm just showing you the repeatability so 3 mm and 3 mm right so once it is done just go to features extrude now and you can extrude up to 3 mm again in the height so this is like you can put your inlets in this okay so once you come out of the sketch so you can see a beautiful micro fluid device which is which is completely you can do it in a 3d printing so if i do a transparency you can see the channels inside so this is how you can uh, do a 3d printing channels and then save all internally and i can create this here save save as internal and then for 3d printing you have to store complete the entire part to part 3 as a single part for printing so again i'll just remove the transparency of this go to save as and create a stl file as your defined name in the options try to see this the resolution should be almost it should be a fine resolution or more than fine and then save all the components of an assembly in a single file and click okay so once it is there so you will see this indication pop up coming uh yeah so now you just press yes so your stl file is ready for printing okay that is the, that is it for today uh, thank you for watching bye bye